and I'm back again with Faraka uh, for another series. Hello. Uh, and we've got this time Solifid, uh happy to watch his games, and against Nivination, who um, who's been around for a while and organised some tournaments in the past, um, and been a, a useful member of the community. Um, let's put up their deck. So I've got Nivination first on a pretty wild Magmar deck, but we've got this odd little. Uh, some sort of aggro magma number with two rooks, which I hope will get you played. Very interesting. Uh, and this uh, this Lionard deck, which uh, just looks pretty tempo to me. I don't see anything uh, too bizarre, although, you know, since it doesn't get played in every Lionard deck, it's obviously good. Any thoughts? Um, yeah, I mostly have thoughts about, uh, about the magma deck because... Uh... There, there is the elucidated combo except fractal replication. So yeah, there's three elucidated, three amp, three flash. And there's also three Ada Master to find the combo. The old elucidated combo decks back in the day also often played Ada Master. I remember Jay did, for example, you know, just to have a bit more consistency in finding the combo. And the combo is really strong actually, because you need only uh, eight mana. And just in many games you can kill your opponent at eight mana if you're a bit lucky, you know, that that's a really nice second win con. Um, so I'm surprised there's no fractal application, like uh, two off or something. Uh, but I guess Niv just wanted the fun cards like Rook, uh, which is really fun. Yeah, definitely if you want to make it more competitive and streamlined, you'd probably cut those Rooks, but I'm really hoping we see it get played here. Yeah, me too. And um, also the um, White Widow. I'm, I'm I, do you remember, Nick, if um, if in this patch it does damage twice, one time, like one damage twice, or still two damage? They changed that kind of recently, right? Yeah, I think that's in this patch. I guess we'll find out soon, soon enough, but uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, because that might be relevant against uh, Jax, although, uh, oh no, so if it doesn't play uh, Jax in the current uh, list, actually. Yeah, speaking of uh, Solifit's lists, uh, we're seeing. Uh, I think I've ran them over with uh, Blatterman F8, but I'd love to get your opinion again. Um, so, yeah, it's. Um, Solifit changes this deck list quite a lot. Like um, during the first test service, he was, I think, running this exact same list. No, there were no Fenris even in his original list. Really? So, yeah, he, he changed his cards around a lot. Yeah, really. In his first. Dogalord list, there was no Fenrir. Um, the spells, he kept always the same, though. I, I I haven't seen him run any other spells, so no Hillstone Prison, no Chromatic Cold is standard for his um, Vesper list. Uh, there was also a time that he played um, Rust Crawler instead of Crystal Cloaker. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess he didn't expect Artifact List in the tournament, which makes sense. For some reason, you never really see Artifact lists in, in tournaments. Yeah, especially like since it is an open deck list, you like can see, oh, they're running artifacts. Let me just switch to my deck with Rust Crawlers, which, you know, so if it does have a deck with three Rust Crawlers, so he probably feels like he's got that covered. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. And um, yeah, that list is also really, um, really interesting, right? Like no Immo, no Silver Guard Knight. It's typical Solifit stuff, right? To cut the, cut the staples to try to find something new. Yeah, it definitely works in that list though, because this is obviously those cards are good, and you you probably won't feel bad including them. Um, but this list just seems really streamlined to being very very hard to kill and uh, very uh, powerful as the game goes on. It's durable. Yeah, and and later um, people will probably see it when Duelist opens again. But I I know. Know um, that solar fit made it uh, slower and slower. Like this already looks pretty slow, right? But you can go much slower. Is something that uh, solar fit has shown me, and it's actually really interesting. Like there is almost like a wizard liner again, even though that never existed in 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 two draw. Um, and of course, this list is very minion heavy. But uh, I'm curious what what people will react <laughs> later to the new solar fit decks. He, he has definitely been. Uh, Brewing up some creative stuff. Uh, for now, though, we're just going to see the the old hotness. Uh, and we'll have to uh, uh, wait until the next open for the the new hotness. Let's not delay. Just 
So yeah, watching from Niv's perspective here. Uh, let's, you know, make sure everyone gets a turn. And we're going to see them uh, happily start with a Healing Mystic. And I suppose they're replacing that Martyrdom because there's not that many good targets early. I think I might just keep it for a Glacial Elemental or something, but um, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's the best uh, target until uh, Dragon Lord uh, hits the board. And so if it's only got some removal to start off with, so I suppose we're going to see double two drops out of Niv. Yeah. It's a pretty uh, good start, uh, tempo-wise. Yeah, and I also agree with Niv not to replace their double two drop is nice, and Tempest is just one of the best cards against that sort of a deck, and so is um, Arclight Regalia. Yeah, why is Arclight Regalia specifically good? Mm, I, I guess Venner just doesn't have many uh, face pings or, or, or face spells in general, right? Uh, this list doesn't have Chromatic Call on top, and all the walls have uh, zero attack. Um, there are some minions that sometimes have two or less attack. Um, it's just very strong when, especially when Venner doesn't have a board, there's just no way uh, to deal with it. Your best bet is Gravity Well, but you might get Tempested. And since there's no jacks in the list, Tempesting the Gravity Wells can be a good play. Yeah, definitely. I've found that like uh, playing as Venner, you do sometimes struggle with dealing with the artifacts. And here we also see the weakness of Infiltrate, right? If you go second, it, you usually can't pull it off at all. And now they're just vanilla two trees. Yeah, they could have uh, snuck one into Infiltrate, but then you've just played into uh, Holy Emulation, so that's no good either. Yeah. Niv choosing here between another turn of double two drops or whether they do want to get this uh, regalia online. Okay, and they're choosing to use the minions to uh, deal with the cloaker. That's fine. I actually like this because it lets you keep the uh, central position. And also uh, going face against that deck. Um... It's a very solid win comp because it has no healing at all. Yeah, that's something Salford will have to, uh, to contend with as the game goes on. I don't mind that like he's brought this deck with no healing because his other deck is just so much healing that like you know in, in a way uh, you've sort of got that covered. Yeah, it's just picking the matchups right, like uh, filling out the uh, weaknesses. Yeah, and it's going to Tempest here. It's fair enough. But um, seeing that come out early might be good for Solifid if he's... Uh... I mean, he's definitely going to be able to swarm later, so the, the first one's got gone through already, so... Yeah, and it didn't hit that much, right? The the Cloaker still lives and three barriers. They, the only thing those barriers do is... Um, dictate position a, a little bit and have aspect uh, targets. Yeah, there's also the possibility to razor back them as well. So, you know, it probably actually wouldn't be that good to razor back them. Um, probably better to uh, like use an aspect of the fox or something on one of them and let the others be. But um, I suppose the other nice upside of the, the Tempest play, at least, is that you start going. Uh, Two damage to face right now as well. And get Solifid lower earlier. Like sometimes when you get low early, you have to uh, play more defensive than you otherwise would. Yeah, and that really limits your positioning, right? Like if you have to walk back, then it usually becomes harder to play around things like Emo as well if you have to um, position defensively. Yeah, 
yeah, definitely true. Still, they've got access to six mana. Should be able to do something reasonable here. I feel like they need Glacial Elemental, Bone Chubber, Snow Chaser. Uh, otherwise, I don't really see how they can clear board this turn and also block phase well. Because, yeah, Gravity Well gets cleared up very fast by Lion, right? Yeah. Just in a, a naked glacial elemental without any uh Sinji cards to proc it. I actually think it's not gonna be that easy for Niv to go and get it, so Ah, uh, okay, so they're gonna use a, a holy Emma on the two bottom right cards here. Yeah, I think this makes sense. You can't really let that uh glacial elemental live. Yeah, because Lionar without a board can't do much, right? So they have no choice. But this is not bad for Solar Fit. Like, no face damage this turn, and they can run away from everything but the Lion. So, well, I guess the Mystic will also do two damage, but at least you can run away from the Arc like Regalia. That's the most important. Yeah, they've definitely uh, bought themselves some time here, which, yeah. That turn's not amazing either, though. Yeah, floating the tree mana. I guess Niv's gonna use an Holy Amor here, just because there's not that much other good stuff going on. I think they really wanted to draw a minion. Yeah, the only positive thing I can say about this turn is that they will increase their hand size, otherwise, and I guess clear board, but otherwise it doesn't really uh, do anything. Yeah, I was curious if they'd uh, put the lion above Fey and just go face, but it seems like that's not what's happening. I guess letting the, the bear live is a bit greedy. But they could have done seven extra damage, right? Yeah, and that would leave them basically dead, considering the no healing uh, thing. Yeah, I mean... Bear can grow really big, but it's still always got 4 HP. It's probably going to be like a 4-4 four four at best. At least on demand, right? You can make it... I guess you give it plus 4 with uh, gravity wells. Yeah, and then that wouldn't even be that good, right? Because there's the second Tempest of the game in hand. Yeah. Also, they only need five damage now uh, to kill, and they already have Tempest and Emo in hand. So, if there were, uh, if there was a zero mana minion or something, or actually they can just top deck a two mana minion, and then uh, it's lethal, despite the uh, gravity well as well. Very close. <laughs> yeah, so Tempest is going to get rid of those walls. And I wonder if they're going to uh, martyrdom this 2 on. Because if you don't, you know, you're risking your board getting wiped the next turn. Yeah. One, one HP is probably not a big deal. You know, you know they can't heal up, and yeah, yeah. This this feels pretty good. Yeah, three and four damage are both still in ammo range. So somehow, so if it has to block against ammo, don't think that's possible with two more mana. Uh, could have been if they uh they blocked this spot with uh, another snow chaser, but yeah, it was going to be difficult, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they could also just kill one of the snow chasers with face, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will play to Nib there. 